Hello, my name is Angel. Welcome to my channel. This is a new channel for me and this will be my first video that I'm uploading. I am going to be talking a lot about anxiety, um, nursing, travel nursing, PTSD, mental different mental health issues. Um, I am currently working right now as an RN at a te uh, COVID testing site. I am a nurse practitioner though, but I'm not actually working at a nurse practitioner, a mental health nurse practitioner. Um, this video will not have any like editing going on in it. Um, it won't be, it'll kind of be all over the place because I've been trying to get this page going for about maybe three or four months. Um, and I just, I don't know if it's fear or what is it, but I haven't been able to just upload a video. So I watched a, a couple videos from other people and they just said, just do it. The first video, just do it, upload it. And once you do that, you will get like everything else will kind of fall in place. So I'm trying to see if that method actually works. So I just decided I just got off of work. As you could see, I still have on my scrub top and I'm just going to basically introduce myself. And like I said, my name is Angel and I'm a mental health nurse practitioner. And this page will be here for travel nursing, um, to talk about mental health. We need to change the stigma on mental health. Um, it's also gonna be talking about healthcare workers, uh, how we felt during this whole COVID um, outbreak or pandemic and about the new pandemic that no one's talking about, which is the mental demic is what I like to refer to it as. Um, it's being overshadowed a lot by the pandemic and um, the pandemic is probably actually causing, you know, some people some new anxiety or depression or post-traumatic stress disorder, things that they haven't dealt with before. Um, when I go across my Facebook or on the nurses, nursing pages, I see a lot of nurses talking about these headaches they having, not being able to sleep at night, um, how working in the hospital is giving them anxiety. Um, and all those things need to be addressed. People need an outlet. People need a, a way to know how to handle those things. Or they may just feel comfortable listening to someone else and things that they did to get through these things. I myself recently suffered from anxiety. Um, very new to me as of January, the end of January this year. Um, 2020 has been whew, a lot for everybody. Um, January, I'm driving, going to pick up my daughter from school, and then boom, I start having these palpitations and everything. I drove, I detoured, called someone else to pick up my daughter. I head to the emergency room, get to the emergency room, everything is clear. Labs come back fine, EKG come back fine. Um, and by this time, I'm feeling okay in the emergency room. And I pretty much was diagnosed with just having an anxiety attack with, or a panic attack, whichever one you want to use to refer to it. Scary is thing for me because I've never dealt with anything like that before. And even though I'm a mental health nurse practitioner, when it was happening to me, I just, I couldn't, I didn't know what to do. I was beside myself. It's almost like an out of body experience I had. Needless to say, the next, this happened like the end of January, um, February, March, April, May, here we are in June. I'm a whole lot better after going to therapy and after God, a whole lot of God got me through it. Um, and, and I'm going to talk to you on this page about God and therapy getting you through the anxiety and depression or things that you may feel as well. I'm not talking about like clinical depression or things like that, because sometimes you may need some medication to help you get through. Um, if you have like clinical depression or if your anxiety is just too much for you to control or get a, you know, get a hang on it that you become not functional, you may need a little bit of medication to supplement your therapy initially. But I do believe that you can come to a point where you don't need the medication at all. Um, but you, it's going to take a whole lot of God and it's going to take a whole lot of therapy. Um, these three months, I did lose my dad um, in October and through therapy, we believe that my anxiety was brought on by some a delayed grief response. Um, 
and I'll, I'll get to a little bit more about what happened, you know, when my dad passed and, you know, how I dealt with my grief um, in later videos. But I just wanted to introduce you to my page and what you what you can expect to find on here. And I'm sure as time goes by, it'll be more things you can find here or more things that I'll add to it. But if you're a medical professional, nurse, healthcare worker, um, anywhere in the hospital and you've been through this COVID, I'm sure that this page will have something for you um, because I'm anybody who were was in these hospitals during these times when these COVID was like at its peak in New York um, or before the peak, any time in New York um, or any hospital, really, it didn't have to be New York. I just mentioned New York because New York was the epicenter and there was, I, I know a lot of nurses that were there. And I know some of them have PTSD now that they don't even realize that they have. One of one of my coworkers that I'm working with now, she talked to me about how the place we work at now has a um, it has like an air conditioned like outside building that they like a fort is what it's called, and it has like a generator that keeps it powered. And every time we walk by the generator, she says it reminds her of the truck outside of the hospitals in New York that they were putting the bodies in because the, um, the, I'm having a blank here, but the morgue downstairs in the hospitals was, was overflowing. So they had those trucks outside. That's PTSD that she's having that, that, that certain noise triggers a memory that she had to something that was traumatic. So, um, again, there will be a lot on this channel, so I, I want to change the stigma on mental health. Um, people see me like outside of work, and I, I you know, I don't. When you, you know, anybody who's a healthcare professional, mostly when we don't have on these scrubs, we look like different people. We party, we have a good time. You know, we got you know they call us turn up nurses, like whatever. We have a great time, but you know when we in these scrubs, it's all business, and. People don't, you know, they don't think I have anxiety. I, you know, or that I've had anxiety before and that I was like beyond myself. Like I didn't know what to do. Like I would be crying at night. I couldn't sleep. You know, I was afraid not to, I was afraid to be at home by myself. At one time I was afraid to be driving far distances by myself. Um, and it's in, in, in a three month time, here I am, you know, I'm, I'm I'm almost back better than I was pre anxiety because I I've been working with God and I've been working with therapy and I don't bottle things up or emotions up anymore because I'm bottling up and worrying and all those things. I wasn't really a worry, I don't think, until after my dad passed. But like I said, I'll talk about a lot of those things later, um, in other videos. Um but yeah. Subscribe to my channel and there'll be a lot here for you. If you're suffering from anxiety or depression and you just, you, you don't, you're afraid to talk to uh, people about it, or you just want to hear how somebody else is getting through or things that they did to help them get through, this is the, this is the channel for you. Um, I'll have all those things here. I'm going to try to upload two videos a week. Um, and that's just what I've been watching other videos of people say that that's what they do to stay consistent. So I'm going to try to stay as consistent as possible. I have tons of content um, that I just need to put together. And I just have my real life experience that I went through with my own anxiety. And I won't say I'm 100% anxiety free, but I do know how to take control now. And that's what we all have to get to. And um so yeah, subscribe to my channel. It's called a mental demic because I believe that a lot of a, a lot of people are suffering from like anxiety and depression. And it doesn't mean you're crazy. It's a lot going on in the world right now. And we there's normal anxiety, you know, if people have like if they going on a roller coaster or whatever, but at a certain point for some people it becomes like the abnormal of, you know, anxiety, which is what I end up experiencing where you just have a really overactive nervous system. And, um, but you can take control of that. And I did. And, um, through God and therapy, here I am now. And I just, I feel it, that I've been, 
called on to help other people, you know. Um, I'm like a, a popular loner, <laughs> um, but I can say that um, I could be a cool kid, you know, and because I can be a cool kid, I feel like I, I want to be more relatable. When people think about psychiatrists or going to see a psychiatrist, they think about maybe an old white man with a bow tie on, but it's not that anymore. It's me, you know, it's me. So, well, subscribe to my channel, The Mental Demic. I also have a page on Instagram that I'm going to get rolling called The Mental Demic as well. Angel, the nurse practitioner. See you soon.